Um, so let's call the meeting to order at uh, 7:28. Although, yeah, we've been in. You've been. been a, we've meeting. been in executive. You're session. coming out of executive. We're coming session. out of executive session at 7:28. Yeah. Um, so let's stand for the pledge of allegiance. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, so, if you pause for a second, Ed. We'll take care of our minutes and public participation. Um, <laughs> okay. So, do I have a motion to approve the minutes of uh, December sixteenth, nineteen? Actually, motion? yeah. I was going to say just to stay with the order of the agenda. Oh. Or are you skipping over the minutes? You want to skip the minutes? Okay. Because oh, I was going to say order? additions and corrections. You didn't do it oh. at the top. Call to order additions and corrections. Oh, I have the wrong have sheet of voice. paper in front of me. I don't. Oh, no, it's not Actually, on Actually, you know what's not on there? What are you looking for? Okay, it's not on there. <laughs> okay. But okay. it should be on there. It should additions be on there. So, well, okay. I was looking okay, at so last David, month. you're right. Let's let's do additions and corrections. Right, because I want to add that loan document I was talking about. The, oh, okay. Uh, the so loan in anticipation of taxes. Loan doc. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That's um, all I've got. Great. Anybody else? No. Okay. Um, so, do we have a motion for the minutes? Okay. So moved. Scott, all second. Sarah seconds. Um, any discussion? Okay. Hearing none. Uh, let's uh, vote to approve the minutes of December sixteenth, two thousand nineteen. Just signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, any nays? Abstentions? Okay, we've approved the minutes of uh, December 16th, 2019. Okay, um, we have no public participation <laughs> today. Um, so we will move on to our items for discussion. You're up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys have all got the handout. And yep. the handout is there are extra copies if nobody wants them. So if they've already looked at it. It boils down to some of the statistics that are used in this spreadsheet to generate your tax rate. Okay? And I think it's important for you to go through this because these two numbers are, are crucial. More the property yield for your, in your, your... This is more towards what it... How many of your people would be eligible for rebate? Income sensitivity? Mm -hmm. But this number is the one that generates. So what this is saying is, is that the state's saying if you could educate your students at $10,883 per student, that your tax rate would be a dollar. Okay? And then the rest of this is generating how much you're over the dollar. Okay? So these numbers come from the state. This is the New England Economic Project Consumer Price Index. This is a number that's generated by them that is used to generate what the state will pay for tech ed. So the way tech ed works is the state pays $9,189 of the tech ed, and then the balance of whatever that tuition is then gets charged to the schools. So per but student. It, right, but it doesn't get charged on so you could have 20 students at the tech center, but we're not going to pay for 20 students because they take a three-year average of your students, and they wait because they don't want the tech centers to see a lot of this mm -hmm. you know, because they've invested a lot of money in it. So they've created this smoothing um, algorithm so that they can fix that or at least smooth it. So that's what these two numbers. This is the number that... This is the cost containment threshold. This is what you are asking me. The state announces this. If you go over this on a per pupil basis, you start to pay a penalty. And on the second page, I'll start saying that. So Homestead tax rate, this is from the tax commissioner's letter, but three years ago, they fixed it. Okay, it's a dollar. Because they went to this new formula where they went with the property yield. And down here, this non-residential equalized tax rate is fluctuating. It does fluctuate. This number and these numbers are subject to change by the legislature. Okay? So as we go through this, what I'm giving you is an estimate of what the tax rate is, not what the tax rate will be. So when we get to the end of the legislative sessions and they firm up these numbers, 
And last year, they didn't firm up the equalized pupil numbers until the right day. So it's going to be subject to change. It could be a couple, a penny here or there, depending on how these numbers shake out. So I just wanted to caution the board on that. Then we get down here. These numbers you're familiar with. That's your CLA, right? This is your equalized pupil. And this is your tech FTE, that the average that I told you about. This is the number they use rather than the actual enrollment. Okay? Now, I want to go back to this. And I want to show you these are the statistics that I gave you, right? This shows the general fund. What's happening as we go along, FY18, 19, 20, how much the expenditure budget is. So what this percent change is showing is what the 21, projected 21 budget is compared to the this year's budget, okay? Mm -hmm. Budget, not actual, budget, mm -hmm. right? So it's up 1.92% currently, or 165,686. Uh, these are different from oh, what we're looking at. I'm well, sorry. You, you're not using the new, um, you recalculated. Like, I don't like that. No. <laughs> that was yesterday. You just used the FY18. That was yesterday's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 As we go down through here, and that changed too. Yeah, that changed too. No, that's no the second one, the homestead tax rate. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that horrifying. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mean? One point eight zero zero nine. Point eight. Yes. Tax scenarios. Yeah. One point eight zero zero nine. Yeah. There it is. That's All right. right. Okay. So. You can see it went up. This tax rate's up 21 cents. All right, now why is it up 21 cents? Well, first thing you can look at is your equalized pupil. Your equalized pupil is, that's up. I'll show that on page two when I go back to the other one. But non-homestead tax rate, that, all right, equalized pupil, here we go. You can see it's changed by 8.37, all right? That's significant. All right, and that's significant because any decline in equalized people lowers the numerator that you're dividing into your cost. Mm -hmm. And I'll show that to you again. And then down here, when you get down to the CLA, that's down. And it doesn't seem like it's that significant, but it is when you start looking at it in terms of how it affects the tax rate. So having shown you those numbers, let me go back to here. So, what this is showing you is, this is the budget, right? This is the deficit that you have, right? So basically what this is doing is it's adding these two numbers together to put into the formula. Okay. And other That's than the that, deficit from last year. You don't have any up, you don't have any local revenue, okay? So then you go to the 21 estimate, you go to page two on it. All this is showing is just what I outlined. Here's what you're, you're here's where the budget, uh, the expenditure budget is right here. This is the deficit. This plus this equals this, mm -hmm. right? You don't, you're not eligible for any. You don't have Act 144. Only West Windsor and Manchester does. So down here, this is the total expenditure budget that you're going to the state for, right? Mm -hmm. This is where, this is the numerator. So you're dividing this into this, okay? You're dividing your equalized pupil right. into the total cost of your budget, which yields this number. So you can see, as this number goes down, yeah. mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. number goes up. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Simple math. Okay? Mm -hmm. So then what happens is you go right. through you go down through this yellow block with excess spending uh, calculation. And you're allowed some deductions, okay? So if I go to pay this up and I go down here, these are the deductions. 
And you can read eligible 2016 budget of construction. You don't have any. Revenue attributable all eligible capital debt. You don't have any. You go down the list and you fill it in as you go. These numbers here, right, mm -hmm. come from the state, and I don't have them yet. Okay. And how this works is that all of these numbers get added up. So I put in this payment for youth members for Vermont State to each retirement, 5,000. I get that from the state, but I carry that one over. So that's going to change too. And how that affects the calculation here is what this is doing is it's taking the 5,000 that I just showed you, it's dividing it by this number. And it's coming up with that, okay? So what that's doing is then it takes this number and it subtracts out $11.02 here. We'll take anything. <laughs> but you can see on the other side, if those, uh, when I get those other numbers up, this deduction will increase. Okay. So do you think it will increase from where we are now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you'll get those other two numbers right. from the state. Right. Okay. Like, so we could be looking at what was those other two numbers? They're over twenty thousand. Yeah. So, was, but it's not safe to put that in there now no. as an estimate. No. Okay. What is that five thousand for? The teacher retirement number. Yeah. The Vistas teachers retirement. So after two thousand six, so fourteen. Yeah. We had to start funding right. an extra portion of the retirement because yeah. the teachers retirement is is, is underfunded. For new teachers. For new correct? teachers. So right. we have a lot of new teachers. So that could be a different number. Right. Higher. Which is right. Good. Yeah. Yes. So those numbers will change, which will affect this. Do you, do you have a sense of like how like mm -hmm. is it going to come down to 18 or is it going to be like 19.1 or I mean do you have a sense of because if you just threw in 55,000 in there now to say we did get those that 50,000 what, would it, what, what would, would it be down to? Mm -hmm. like uh, I mean are we yeah hypothetically, hypothetically. Let's talk, I'm just yeah, thinking I like the hypothetical. I, j yeah just they want some good news <laughs> I want yeah. something <laughs> any positive. kind of good news. So if we get the same as last year. That's last year's number. What is it per teacher? What is it per teacher that you take? For every every is it brand new teacher or just new teachers? Every year for every teacher that's higher than percent. Oh. So I think it's I'm gonna guess seventeen. Yeah. Fourteen hundred per teacher. So that's more. Not enough. Oh yeah, so it only brought it down by by a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you know. Now we know. Now we know. Well, actually, but we yeah. go back to that setup. The um, tuition to high school students. We got six high school students that we didn't budget for. Which one are you saying? Well, if tuition and all students. Uh, new students moving so what, what, what this is, is, is tuition uh, rate or what, what I use this for because it's never been really defined for me is yeah. any money that you have to pay on a per back for the prior year membership. Okay. So if we get oh, bill backs I from prior year from different schools, I feel like no but I see that as if if tuitioning oh all students. Yes. But you don't really have any deficit, and plus the state has started getting the deficit. Yeah. Okay. okay. But okay. as you go down through, well, that was a good exercise. Thank you. Yeah. <coughs> that was maybe not a good exercise. ever hopeful. Did it? But it did it. What did it do to <laughs> the tax rate? The tax rate. Does it drop the tax rate by a penny? It doesn't do anything to the tax. tax nothing to the tax. All rate. it does is it changes your per pupil spend. So then we'll be dinged less. Got it. Yeah. it. It changes that when you compare it against the threshold. Okay. It does nothing to your tax rate. Okay. But in the end, if we got it below the tax, if we come under the threshold, but yeah. I'm just going to switch it back. To That's what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
You see how that number is 19,259, 258,090? Mm -hmm. And you see how when you compare this number after the deductions to this number, the difference between the two is 491,88, right? What it does is it simply takes this number and adds that in. And then you have 19,750 when you go you into the double. formula, right? Ooh. So yeah. what this is doing is it's dividing this into this. And it's saying that you're 81.48 cents above the dollar. The dollar, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, you take this, you take this, you're 1.8148 above what it, this number here, right? So then these numbers here, this is always 100% for you because you're not part of a, 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 not a union school district. But this is where this comes in. So when you look at this 100.77, it takes this and it reduces it to here. Because you're 100%, then your tax rate would be 1.8148. But because you're over, okay? So the difference between this and this is attributable to that. So the higher your CLA is, the lower your tax rate's gonna be. So before the reassessment, we were at more like 100, we were at like 101 or 104 at one point. Yeah. So yeah. that would have made this even even worse, or it would have made it better? Better, better, better. It would have better. made it better. It would have made it better. Right. It decreased. It about, yeah. yeah. But it also signifies that the, the town's assessment and selling rates are not really in sync. Right. And so you want your CLA to be more like 100. 100 and, and really yeah. what we're seeing is that we're, we're more correct now yeah. than, we were than we were before in other years. Right. Yeah. So in 19, it was 104, 100.77, 101.62, and 100. Point. So you're yeah. going down towards where they want you to be. To be, right. So if you go under 100, it starts adding to your tax rate. Okay. Okay. So last night in Weathersfield, theirs is 95, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it has a big effect on their tax rate. Yeah. And in past, when I first started, oh, Windsor's was in the 70s. Because they hadn't gone to a reappraisal in quite some time. Yeah. All right, so. When we go down, you can see that it had a small, that, that the, the difference between Sense by being over 0.77. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between this and this, okay? Mm -hmm. So the rest of this is that all the calculation is done there, and when you get down to here, it just spits out the tax rates. And then there's your 21.52 cents, and then your non homestead tax rates up to 15.22 cents. And the non-homestead is set by the state. That's right. for people who are second homeowners. Right. But that's a set number. That's not. Well, that, when I showed you this page, and this is a problem that people are having that are second homeowners. <laughs> this number <coughs> does change. It does change. That gets set by the legislature. Right. But it has no impact on the residential. On the residential. So it's become kind of the place to make. The but their tax rate is still lower than everybody else mm -hmm. in Maryland. Right. Yeah. Huh. The legislature still could change some things, right? Oh, that, that's one of them. Right. Which they probably And then these two. They could change the yields. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which way do you want the yield to go? Do you want the yield to go up or down? I want it to go up. The property yield to go up. 
So then you've seen, I don't understand that. You've yeah. seen the uh, other that I showed you. Uh, Ed, do you know what a property yield is? Because if I'm calling I'm not, my rep, I should probably I think know it's the what amount of money $1 in taxes change. generates. I think it's back to that again. Right. I think it's how much a dollar would yield. So if each... It, Which is weird because if each household right. So if each household like well, it's how much they put into the education fund, right? right. Because you add that together with the, no, the taxable they value. Because they raise based on the education fund, they raise your tax rate. They try to they try to have a number that they can they can go across the state with. Yeah rather than do it in an individual time basis. Yeah. So they used to have another number that they used that changed every that, that didn't change and they changed the tax rate. Yeah. And now they've gone to using the yield. And, but if David's right, it's the dollar and what a dollar what a dollar raises. Right. What a dollar but raises. It's actually what can you what did they consider to be uh, and what a dollar would how much a dollar could do in a tax rate to educate one student. But they can transfer money in and out of, right? Well, I think that's what you were saying. They could, if they, they raise that in, yield, and then the they'd yield still have to get that higher. money somewhere. They'd probably go to the tax, to right. the Ed Fund yeah. and mm -hmm. grab that money. Yeah. That's what they've done in years when they've tried to provide a little tax relief. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, yeah, but I know. So that has to do with um, equalized pupil count across the state. So here's the... the um, States, uh, right, that's the, sort of the grand list, the state grand list. Act 46 of 15 introduced the property dollar equivalent yield, also called the homestead property yield or just yield. Despite its name, there's no connection between how much revenue is raised from a dollar homestead. <laughs> just to make it confusing. Right. Uh, for example, FY20. It's in theory only. For example, in FY20, $1 tax rate on 100 of a homestead property would raise 420 million of revenue State and the right. expected expected e EP count of 88,000 so the yield would technically be for 4,775 dollars 420 million divided by 88,000 EPs in the state so that's what goes into the yield They've made the tax rolling just confusing enough so that nobody understands it. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not sure how they um, can tinker with that. They, 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 they've they changed that yield they, before. Because they, obviously the equalized pupil number is not something that legislators... But I think it's the way Sarah said when they when they tinker with it, they still have to get that money from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you got to raise whatever that number you just gave there. So yeah. so what they'll do is they'll raid the Ed Fund or, or they'll raise state taxes and you know, they'll right. figure out a way income to They move it from other that. categories right. in. Yeah, but if you raise the property you lower the tax rate. Right. Right. Which would then make it less money. Right. right, which is where they have to Which write. is counterintuitive. Right. But, <laughs> but if the head fund is healthy, they're not going to So I would think say about that. they take a group, they lower the group, raising more money from the head fund. Well, they could do that too. So what, what happens is, as we get closer, like as you guys approve your budgets, I have to submit to the state a preliminary budget. I send that to the state, and it's preliminary because it has gone before the voters. And they then take that data, and they use that in the legislature to say, oh, well, these are all the preliminary budgets. This is what we expect the Ed Fund needs to raise, mm -hmm. okay? And they crunch their numbers to decide what that yield is going to be to generate that amount of money. Okay. But at least the tax commissioner gives us a letter, and in the letter, he estimates based on a certain whether he feels like it's going to be one way or the other. And that's the number we generally use here. Yeah. So the chances of it changing by a lot are are pretty low. I mean, it pretty can change yes. by a few thousand here and there. It really depends, again, on what the preliminary budget's coming Because I've known years where they've said, 
they predicted huge, like this will be one of them, where there's you know, all this, all these things, there's been deferred maintenance, there's been this, there's been that, there's a huge increase in health insurance. We're projecting it's going to be high, so we're going to have to have a high yield, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And then they come in, the preliminary budgets come in, and they're not so high. Right. So they come in and say the average, the overall state average is all the budgets were up 3%, right? And they said, well, we projected a yield that would have given us enough money for a 5% of the So then they can change it. So then they can change it. But this, this is just showing you, this part you're really familiar with. Those are the old ones, too, right? Yeah. yeah. Going. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. um, And then just this is the valuation table. So given that increase for a hundred thousand dollar house, and they pay two fifty more right on down the line. And then here, this is what a cut would generate. So a twenty-five thousand dollar cut. That's the most depressing table of them all, I find. I know that table is I know. Mm -hmm. it, even if we There's something wrong with their new rate. Yeah, because I think that changed again. So we could. No, the new rates changed. It's different on our table. Yeah. Oh, you put in a. I, I had to change all these. Stuff. I don't know what. So I work at this at the office, and then I, think I see it to move in. It's a little bit. It looks different, doesn't it? Yeah. 60. Yeah. I don't know why that is. Because he's not in the cloud, right? He's on his. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm on the cloud. I'm in Google Drive. I mean, yeah, fifty thousand dollars. We say that. that, 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 that I mean, did you say it's an Excel, right? It is a drive change. It was the safe two steps. Drive from Excel. I mean, I yeah, you're, you're yeah. absolutely right. But it's just yeah. it's it's just depressing, it. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, because yeah. my thought is we still may have to come to the next year. Right. Even if we don't get it. Do you want me to read them to you? But that's, isn't that depressing? It's like we do that and it's the tax rate is still. Yeah. It's only the first oh, absolutely. five, I think. Although. Yeah, and I, and I projected this $223,267. To the higher grades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of right where we actually. Yeah, but anyone wants to necessarily do that. Yeah, this, this class, this group in the states is seven hundred and ninety dollars in high school versions. Just too many. Too many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. number of yeah, yeah. So that's an that. interesting thing too. Wait, when is that going to happen? Actually, it starts to happen next year. It'll start. It'll start. Next year. So that's It'll be a, that's mm -hmm. 111 next year. And six, seven, eight. Yeah. 111 what? 111 so students in six, seven, eight. That's just yeah. But low in K12. Yeah. So you're saying that's high? Yeah, because the even like those this, the education standards say 100 for the number of teachers we have. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Per teacher. Per teacher. Each teacher is allowed yeah. to teach 100 students. Oh. So yeah, because that's middle school. It's a recommended. Right. Yeah. So we'll be above. And our teachers are. That's high. Yeah. That's the next year. So, so next year we're, we're not going to go high in that. You can get rid of those columns. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. <laughs> get rid of. <laughs> yeah. We're at 100 this year. Yeah. We're at 100 yeah. this year. Yeah. It doesn't go down until we get that second grade, right? And but you've got to keep in mind that when they do legalize people, they do the same thing they do at the top. They take a three year average. With some multiplier. The number of you're, students, you're, students you're, yeah. Your enrollments are higher than a year ago. Yeah. They try to so that's the what's hurting us, isn't it? That we Part of it. Two, yeah, the two, I mean, we. it, it looks steeper than, than it is because of that comparison. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? So, two years ago, yeah, but so still, we were high we teeny class three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and you're graduating right. your bigger class. Right, right. So your yeah. biggest class is in high school. 
Right. Yeah. right and now. that's what's happening. In third grade. In that, exactly. In third so it looks, grade. Third yeah, grade. Yeah. Third grade. Yeah. we're seeing yeah. a real thing. In the building, we're seeing different things. Yeah. But your high school classes, you guys, everybody forgets mm -hmm. because they're yeah. gone. That they're bigger. They're yeah. bigger. They're, they're bigger, bigger in Heartland. I mean, they're bigger in Weathersfield. They're bigger in West Windsor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're still being charged at the higher pupil rate then? So shouldn't that be better for our equalized pupil? Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, Things dropping because we just yeah. graduated a huge class, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. and yeah, that's why there's a partly yeah. yeah. So um. Ed, so um, Ed just said that um, he and I can go over the cuts tomorrow unless you want to do them. Here. Um, well, what are, unless if you want to talk more in executive session, I guess that was my point. Yeah, but what we need to vote on a number tonight, I think. Yeah, you, you so we have to, like when? <clears throat> yeah, I was going to. I mean, say, you could take. We'd have another, to get together next week. You'd have to yeah. get together next week if, if you didn't vote on one tonight. Right. <clears throat> Got it. Um, but if you pretty much know where you are, then. Right. I, mean, I, I think that. I, depends on what you could generate in cuts. I mean, we all said. You know, that we know 21 cents is, is going to be a mm -hmm. tough sell, but it. it, it so I will tell you this: that by January 15th, we have to have the state requires us to announce tuition for next year. So you will know those numbers, high school numbers, by January 15th. So that could have an impact. They're going to want that report done. Hopefully, help by then too. So we can't wait until we have those numbers to finalize. Yeah, we could. We could. We could. When is, I, I yeah, I was going to say, what's ahead. what's the time period here? Because I'm not like we're saying we well, have so to vote tonight. You have to tonight. have this to the printers. Like um, by the end of the month, I think. Which usually you're one of the later. Um, we're later. The end of the month. End of January. January. Right. So that because it has to be posted and worn. Yeah, the town. Thirty days in advance. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, forty. <coughs> no more than forty-five. No less than thirty. Thirty. Yeah. So it has to be posted either by January twenty-third. I think Jen told me today, or thirty days would be probably January. Or February. From what date? The date. The date of town meeting or the budget no, meeting? No, back from town meeting. Thirty yeah, days back. prior. So March. Yes, when is that? March. The meeting. It's the Our town meeting is that Monday, right? The first Monday in March. So March second. No, no, ours so. is the end of February. The, the, the first two things. Oh, your school meeting. Our informational meeting. Yeah. Our yeah. Our but meeting is right, I'm just talking about the first in peace. Yep. The, the law says you have to be 30 days from the date of the town, town meeting. meeting. Town Nothing meeting. About the meeting date. Yeah, the school. town meeting is the first Tuesday in March. So that's oh, March so 2nd, 3rd, I believe. Oh, yeah. Something like that. So 30 yeah. days before that? Yes. So we could wait for more numbers. can't post any later February than 30 1st. days before that. February 1st. Mm -hmm. Which is probably why we've done that. End of January. End of January. Yeah. January. So yeah. we could. But Linda's got to get some time to get it formatted. Ed sends that format. Yeah. We've got a little bit of a new format, not terribly new, but it's we spent a fair amount of time putting it in. Well. So the 15th oh, yeah. is uh, yeah. next Wednesday. Next week, Wednesday. Yeah, you got to format it probably on all of them. Um, Jen's will be easy because we do it in Still no time for printing? Yeah, it's got to get to the printer by probably the last week in January. So we could meet on Thursday the 16th. Would you have everything ready by then? Everything I have, I will bring. You know what I mean? I will update this. Because I've gone through this. Does that give you enough time? They keep saying, well, that's not what you had the last time. And I'm like, yeah, uh, I'm adjusting it as I go. You know? So, yeah, I mean, so I, have closer. All I hope, yeah. As much as I can put in, I will put in. You won't have the yield by then. No, no, that can change because the legislature. Yeah, that can change. You get those, right? That changes, yeah. like, even last as minute. town meeting is happening. <coughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's tax, why I sometimes said Sometimes even I think that's why the tax announced rate. tax rate at the yes. town meeting is not usually. Yeah, it's not usually even right rate. at the town meeting. No. Yeah, we have, we've had taxpayers come in and say, that's why, not isn't why isn't it the same as you right. in this town report? 
It's a lot that changes between. Um, do we have a meeting scheduled on the 20th? That's a not a work day. Yeah, like, no, you know, it was a yeah, day. Good not, point. Okay, so, so we have to yeah. change that, don't we? I think we already did for a minute. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> you didn't get that memo. <laughs> I, I'm here, though. Well, you already populated your calendar. Yes. That's fine. Excellent. Okay. Um, okay. So let me ask you this. If we make a, ch if we make a change tonight and vote on the budget as it is with a, a statement that says um, with adjusted tuition numbers, does that fly or do we have to be present to vote? Like, could you make those changes? It's all about the number. It's you all about be, whatever the number is. You have to is. vote on an actual, on an actual number. number. Okay. Can we modify our vote? Later on. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the point of that. Could. Why would you do that? Unless I would say, why didn't you just wait? Then just wait. Yeah. I mean, because what? then we could choose not to meet. <laughs> right. I think that's the. That. One less. Right. We could vote one. today, and then can if we, things really don't change dramatically, then we stick with it and stick with not, it. Then they come back together. Right. Or if not. We Usually, come back a together. February meeting is to get ready for town meeting. Right. Yeah. And to plan your strategy. Exactly. Get the PowerPoint sort of right. cleaned up. And but we're, I mean, we're talking. Uh, if and we're just coming in to vote, right? I mean, that's, that was my. It's not a long meeting. It's right. not a it very, be a long, very meeting. long meeting. Yeah. Yeah. They're always. I know. I was gonna say. And do they have to be? Can they be virtual? I, I guess if it's just a vote, can we can we can Skype we in, in or the, can we call in? Somebody. Google would Hangout. Have to be here. Someone has to. Be right. There. You have to have a board member present at the warned place. Okay. Well, if but we do that, then you guys in. can. Then you can sleep early. <laughs> Just try to save another meeting for people. <gasps> um, Much appreciated. I mean, I, I, I don't, obviously, nobody likes the idea of another meeting, but I do think that hearing the tuition numbers is a yeah. valuable thing and plugging it into the budget and, and getting a sense of what that number is and in yeah. that context then discussing these, the proposed cuts. I mean, is it going to change significantly? I mean, like, could it change significantly? So I, I took the actual FY. And I added two percent to that percent. Yeah. And I got the Heartland, the Hartford Heartland. tech number, and they said they can stay the same. So the likelihood of it changing is slim or being significantly yeah, different. Yeah, the they numbers do. can change significantly. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Go uh, all right. uh, yeah. Okay, it's not going down usually. Close, and I know what I know. What yeah, so right. one argument for waiting would be that perhaps Colleen would be here. Oh, that was what I was going to say. Yeah, How do we so feel? It's a good around that. She get a chance sure. to weigh in. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good idea. Well, and does does it matter for those numbers? Are you looking at students going into like let's talk to Hanover? Sounds like is the the variable one, right? The rest seem kind of no. So are we talking about students who are currently in Hanover, or are we talking about students going to Hanover oh, from here? here? Going in. Going in. So our eighth grade group going in. And the kids in that the are in current. Oh, got it. Okay. Because yeah. I was going to say we don't have many that are going there no. from this graduating class right now. We do. Got it. Okay. Okay. But again, it's it, it, tuition's a significant part of your budget. Yeah, right. Right. So, yes, it is. But don't. Budget, I'm not no. telling you that when I get these announced tuitions that they are going to. Ooh, yes, they yeah, could exactly. go up. <laughs> right. They could be more right. than two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Either way, I think it would help us. Well, it would be easier than having an accurate budget. Yeah. I don't think so I've ever been able to do that before. Can I say we would? Oh come on. I yeah. I I I mean, as much as I hate everyone hates the idea of, of another meeting. I it do, this does feel like. Like, and, and we're making a, I don't know, I feel like we're making a weighty decision that's going to so have impacts on people in the building, and we should consider that and I think about it. Potentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this is I'd love to meet with you guys. I <laughs> Family. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll bring Sam. So is the 16th, are, are people open the 16th? Yeah. Um, could we, I guess 615. 16. Is it Thursday? 6.15. Today is the 7th. 
Apparently just meet at like 7 a.m. This is me. Anybody want to meet at 7 a.m.? I, I would much rather <laughs> meet at 7 a.m. David might there. not, but I don't yeah. know if he has to be here. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you could Do call in. I could call in, yeah. A 7 a.m.? You'd though? be on the road. I will be calling in, yes. Can Colleen? I can call in from the road. I'd love a morning meeting. Yeah. Colleen, Scott, how does that do for you? Which day? Early, 16th. If everyone else can do evening, I can do I can do evening. I was just complaining. <laughs> I was just complaining. Yeah. <laughs> we stay here. We don't go home. We're here. We'll do. What day, what day do we look at? 16th. We're looking at the 16th at either 7 a.m. or 6.15 p.m. 6.15? Yeah. PM, oh, PM. Yeah. PM and AM. I'm happy to be at 6.15, too. 6.15 uh, AM? I, I have to draw a line there. <laughs> I would be Sorry. I know. I'm the morning person. <laughs> this whole, like, after 8 o'clock? Yeah, I can call in at 6 or 7. 7 AM, okay. I, 7 AM. Yeah, because I have a BSA meeting in Montpelier that day, so. As long as we feel like, because <clears throat> we really need to make sure everything's wrapped up by 8. Yeah. And, and an hour would be enough. That would I'm be done. Oh, yeah. I've got a, Finance training at Wallace That day? Yeah. I'd rather go in the evening, I guess. Or I, could, I could do earlier evening. I mean, I don't know if that's, that's it for But, you but be, you, you're you could just going to present and then you could go, right? Right. I mean, and then it's decision making, right? I don't even that. think, and I don't think you need to present. No, I think we've got it all. To, you just, give me you the just need to send us unless things. Unless things again. change okay. and send that packet again, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, unless like massive calculations were wrong or different. Like, right. So did we decide morning or afternoon? I'm fine either way. I didn't mean to throw I think a wrench. we should stick with the stick with the evening. Okay. The evening. Yeah. And I right. apologize. I have to make it 6:15 because I can't. 6:15. Yeah. On the 16th. Yes. Okay. It'll be a quick one. The next week is open. <laughs> <laughs> she just cursed. I'm gonna put 6:15 to 7 in my you calendar. Yeah, 45 I think minutes. <laughs> it's our goal. <laughs> 45 minutes. That seems. It's a good goal, right? Well, you never know. We may have a few things to talk. That's for the open session. <laughs> yeah. We always the executive could go just like. <laughs> we can bring <laughs> <the> sleeping bags. <laughs> I know. We should just get a like a bunk bed here. Yeah. No, God, no. That was, <laughs> just hang out. If they did not need it on me. It's only like a couple of hours in the wildcat room. Oh, How did God. I invite everybody before? At night. You just oh, yeah. in your Google Calendar? In that executive session. What? Where? Uh, uh, Duplicate it. Eleven. Just invite people. Just click on it. And click at it. Oh, I know. But before, it automatically did it. Like, what did I type in? Oh, gotcha. I invited eight people before. I think this time. sometimes when you click, when you start typing in what you want to put in, like board yeah. meeting, it'll auto populate some things. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, you and if you click, if you click right below where you, where you're typing. It'll automatically do it. Thank you, Ed. For yeah. So I, I never do that because I don't around, understand what's coming up, and I don't want to mess something oh, right. up. End up inviting parents to things. I don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. Pain the arse to uninvite to. Right. Like, Part there's my eight invent invitees. Okay. okay. So right now I'm inviting you at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> 15 p.m. I got my eight invitees. Look at that. I was going to say, did you just invite people? I will in one second. Normally, when you put anything in your calendar, we all get invited. I know. And this time, so. I'm doing it with intention. Good. <laughs> I know what I'm doing this Because I've been waiting for, like, it. birthday parties and things like that. <laughs> If I title a birthday party school board, then we got a problem. Yeah, that would be awesome. That's a school board thing, birthday party. That's a school board thing, birthday, birthday party. Okay. Um, thank you, Ed. Thank, yeah, thank you, Ed. Well, it's going to stick around for the loan vote. Cause you, oh, you oh take, right. We have to do the loan vote. <coughs> because you want to yes. take this And then I want to go back into executive. <coughs> yes. So... Ed, I don't know if you want to add to this, but this is just basically borrowing in anticipation of taxes. Yes. The loan is with uh, Mascoma Bank at an interest rate of 3.3%, which is a good rate. Ed and how calls long? And shops the rate, and it goes till the till the end of this year, June, the end of this school year, June 30th, 2020. Okay, so this you can't is, borrow beyond the. So this is just for this year because you're right, because of the cash. Some stress. When you guys do the. Um, 
We've already approved this. Right. In town we just approved. need yeah. to. Right. Miss just, that's always it. in the warning. That's always, it's always in the warning. We just haven't done it. Voters give you permission to vote. To we just haven't done it the last couple of years. Right. 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 The, the, the and this is called a tax now. anticipation note. Okay. okay. And so it's standard, but I haven't used it over right. the years for you guys because I've been able to work with the town in order to get. But money back and forth. It's getting too difficult to do that. Cause we're, but before you were always like, there's a cushion. There's no cushion anymore. Okay. So, um, so, so with the three percent interest rate, it's only as far as long as the money is in is out. Is out. Oh, out. Right. Okay. So if it's so if we borrow two hundred thousand dollars and pay it back in a week, you're paying interest on that three hundred forty. Okay. And and additionally. Is, um, what's the total amount? Uh, one million six hundred eleven thousand. You're not going to go near that. Five hundred thirty-four. So, you so I think you just explained it, but the interest is only on what is it's borrowed out. For, for that time for period. For that period. Yeah. Right, and what it does is, as you borrow, <coughs> it's, it's borrow basically a line of credit. Yeah, line of credit. Then the line becomes one point three. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get to use if it again. If I pay it back, it stays at one point three. Uh, okay. You only Every can use time it I once. borrow money, oh, the line is dead. Because mm -hmm. you've only authorized up to. It's not like a home equity. Got it. Gotcha. Okay. Where, where you um, but you and you have show. Perry, Perry, are the ones that are authorized. So how it would work is if we anticipate we're going to need cash, we would call either Cheryl or you, and you would have to call the bank and notify the bank that yes, they can, they can have access to X amount. You or Cheryl. Okay, um, and so, you, uh, in your infinite wisdom, feel that this is a good budgetary decision? Uh, yes. Okay. That's what I here. <laughs> so the motion would be, somebody would need to make a motion uh, to borrow from Mascoma Bank the amount of 1611000 Or to open a tan. Yeah, you could say, yeah, you could say it that way too. I was going to say, as a tax anticipation note, but at the end, but it's $1,611,534.33. Uh, as a tax note in anticipation, as a note in anticipation of taxes. Yeah, so that's fine. Repeat that? Just <laughs> it's a pretty good Diane. Yeah. Diane can read it back once we've done. Do we have it? Okay. I think so one of you guys just needs to, to make a motion. Move to borrow from Mascoma Bank an tax anticipation note of one million six hundred eleven thousand five hundred thirty-four dollars and thirty-three cents. Okay, one more At question. an interest rate of 3.3%. One more question. It's been described or illustrated so far that um, the, the examples are that this is the line of credit and, and that borrowing is a portion of that or a fraction of that. So why is the, bar the amount we're borrowing such a, a precise <laughs> number down to 33 Because uh, that was <coughs> on the, um, it's part of... It has to do with the total budget that we presented, I think, at the... It might be a percentage of that. Yeah, it might be a percentage of the budget that we presented. Okay. Do you know how they came year. to that, why you're borrowing that exact number? Yeah, on the back of that, there's a cash flow. Oh, it shows you the cash flow issue. And based on that cash flow and the municipal, the law of municipal yeah. borrowing, yeah, that was after we qualified for. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. what we got. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the bank came up with that number. So the, the bank, bank came I up with the cash flow, and then they, that they cash said, flow this generated is what you can that have. number. Okay. But this so is a I could borrow number. up to that number, so but I said just I'll borrow that the final number. Because number. Okay. Yeah. Okay. that establishes, there's no way I'm going to need that. Okay. Right. And then you all have to sign this document. That's just a safe upper limit. So we need to catch up with Colleen? Uh, and Cher uh, Cheryl. Oh, it just has to be the majority. No, majority. So <laughs> okay. with Colleen not here, that's fine. Okay. As long as more than three or more of you sign it. Okay. Okay. I motion to say, to do what Diane what said. What Diane said, right. <laughs> sign so that stuff. Is that Beth. good enough? Yeah. Do you want to take second? this back with you once they sign it, it so I don't lose it? Yeah. I'll second yeah. So yeah. Not, that would not be a good thing Please to lose. Please don't lose one million dollar <laughs> piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do we have a second? Real not good. You're with second. Oh, it's not second, second to that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> any more discussion? No. All those in favor of David's statement? So just um, please <laughs> signify by saying aye. Okay. Aye. 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 All those aye. opposed? Okay, any abstentions? No, okay. So Four we will now sign the document. Um, and I think... Just keep looking at those blue arrows. Yeah, and we can sign no, that in executive session, too, so if you yeah, want. Yeah, we can sign that. Well, no, because Ed wants to take it. Then you'll have to oh, take right. control of it, David. Can actually use your pen. Right. No, we'll sign it right now. Drop it off at the office tomorrow morning on my way in. You want to sign it now? Yeah. 
I can read this one. Yeah, I don't think. But are How there pages? There's multiple pages. We have pages. to sign on oh. every page. Oh, my goodness. I didn't do that. <laughs> Let, we could do that while we're in executive session. Okay. Yeah, there is. There's yeah. many. Okay. 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 David, okay. you're going to have to keep control of that. Okay. You're going to have to I keep it safe. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, I am going in in the morning, but it's much safer in your hands, probably. <laughs> yeah, you're going a little less far. I know. One time, the business manager. the bag that goes back. When I was superintendent in St. John's, the business manager said, we've got to get this deposited today. It was a check. And I said, oh, I, I, I can run out to the bank if you need me to. It was a check for $1.4 million. I carried that in my car. I mean, it, I guess it's a check, so right. what's so anybody going to do? But that's still, I've never had that kind of money no, on that, my that per- kind of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> and I never want to have it again. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't either. That was scary. Right. <laughs> I thought he was going to say he forgot to yeah. deposit it. Yeah, but I thought you, that's what I thought he was going to say. I, know, I didn't know where this was going. I think this is good. Maybe we should. We could. Oh, we yeah, we can end the public version as we I would move. I would move that we go into executive session. Okay. I second. Um, okay. For the All purposes, those in favor. For the purposes of gone. personnel. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And we'll, it will take a five-minute break before executive session. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.